Recently I started experimenting with the open source robotic arm SO ARM100 and the Hugging Face library LeRobot. In this video I will share my initial experience working with these tools. Most parts of the robot except for the servo motors and motor controllers are 3D printable. Printing all the components for two arms, leader and follower takes around 30 to 40 hours. In the video you will see the printing process for about one fourth of the required parts. Assembly for the first time takes about two hours. It's best to follow the assembly instructions and uh, watch the official videos for helpful tips. This can save you time and help avoid mistakes. Once familiar, you can probably speed up the process by two or three times. The leader and follower arms are nearly identical, with the leader having a handle for easier control instead of a gripper. Once both arms are assembled, the LeRobot library lets you control the follower arm in teleoperation mode. The follower arm mirrors the leader's movements, enabling any desired actions. This mode is ideal for recording training datasets for imitation learning, capturing motor positions in real time. In the video you can see my data collection setup. The leader arm controls the follower during training, while my laptop camera and the real sense camera mounted on the follower arm record the process. I trained my robot to pick up a Boba T toy and place it in a basket. Creating the dataset involves uh, repeating the target actions around 50 times, uh, recording both video feeds and uh, arm states. The LeRobot library's tool let you visualize and uh, replay the collected samples. After collecting the dataset, you can train a policy model to imitate your actions, enabling the robot to perform the task autonomously. Training can take a few hours, but afterwards your robot should complete the task on its own. In my case, the robot performed the task consistently, also occasional errors still occurred. Overall, my first impression of the uh, robot and the library are very positive. It's a fantastic open source project and I recommend it to anyone interested in robotics. I will keep experimenting, teaching it more complex tasks and integrating it with my other projects, so stay tuned.